Hello and welcome to this short tutorial where I will show you how to recreate this car paint material that you can see rendered on the upper left hand side. And on the right side is the node setup for the material. Um, it looks quite intimidating at the first glance, but um, when we go through the material step by step, I think it is quite manageable. A quite uh, small disclaimer before we begin. The tutorial is based on an already existing tutorial on YouTube that is um, creating this car paint material for Cinema 4D and Octane. And I modified the material slightly in order to make it a little bit more accessible and easier to recreate. It looks a little bit different, but I think the material is great for every car render that um, you could think of. So uh, let's get started. In order to begin, I will delete the whole material. And if I update the viewport, then you can see that the sphere is now completely white again. And we can start with the material. Okay, so how the material works is pretty easy. We will start by pressing Shift A and searching for a layered material down here and we will add the material out of our layered material into the surface of the material output. So our material, our layered material, will consist out of a base material that we will create first and then three layers beneath our base material. So let's start by adding the base material to our layered material. So we will press Shift A again and search for a diffuse material down here. And now we will plug the material out of the diffuse material into the base material of our layered material. So we will start by adding a gradient texture into the diffuse of the diffuse material by pressing Shift A again and searching for a gradient texture. Now we can plug the out texture of the gradient texture into the diffuse of the diffuse material. And we will have to add another node by pressing Shift A again and searching for fall of map. We will plug the texture out into the texture of the gradient texture. And you can see on the left hand side that we have this gradient going from the outside of the sphere to the inside. We will have to modify one of the color values in the gradient texture. So click on the white little arrow in the gradient and we will click on the color down here and we will change it to a darker value like that. That's fine for now. Now we have to change another value in the diffuse material. We go to the roughness and type in 0.11. Perfect. Or we can go to 0.14, I think. That's maybe a little bit better. And like that, we should be fine for our diffuse material. So I will take this and put it a little bit up in order to keep everything organized. So now we will create the first layer of our layered material. And we will have to press Shift A again. And now we search for a specular layer. Down here we have the specular layer. And we will plug this node into the layer 1 of our layered material. As you can see on the left hand side, the material has changed quite a bit. And we will continue by changing some values inside this specular layer. We will start by adding a darker color into the specular up here. And now we will change the roughness to 0 0.11. And we will go down to the IOR and we will put it up to 8. Perfect. That should be it for now. So we have to continue with our layered material. In order to add another layer beneath the layer 1, 
we will click at add input and now we have a second layer into this layer 2 we will plug another layer this time we will add a metallic layer by pressing shift a again and searching for metallic layer here we have the metallic layer and we will plug the material layer out into layer 2 perfect now we will change some values in here first of all we will change the roughness to 0 0.24 like that and we will go down to the normal And we will press Shift A again and search for Flex. Here we have the Flex node. And we will plug the texture out of the Flex node into the normal of our metallic layer. As you can see on the left hand side, we now have these little flakes on our material. And that is exactly the, the look that we are looking for. Um, in order to modify the flakes a little bit, we will add a projection to it by clicking on this little plus. And if we click on the little plus in this XYZ to UVW projection, we can go down to Octane Transform and click on Transform Value. And now we can transform the scale of the flags and everything. First of all, we will change the flag size in here by clicking into this slider and setting it to 0 0.44 and we will change the blend factor um, to 0 0.85 like that and now we go back to the transform value and inside the scale we will set all three values to 0 0.01 perfect as you can see on the left hand side, the flags are much smaller now and we are getting to the look we want. So we will continue by adding another layer setup into the layer opacity. So we press Shift A again and search for an invert texture node. And we plug the texture out of the invert texture node into the layer opacity of the metallic layer. And now we have to press Shift A again and search for a fall of map. The fall of map goes straight into the texture of the invert texture node. And like that, we are done for now with the metallic layer. In order to get another layer in our layered material, we will click at Add Input again. And now we have the three, third layer input. And into the third layer input, we will plug a specular layer. So we press Shift A again and search for a specular layer. Then here we have the specular layer and we will plug this into the layer three. So let's go down a bit in order to keep it organized. In here we will change a few values. We go down to the roughness and change it to 0 0.11. Like that. And we can change the rest later. Um, now comes a special part that I think is adding to the realism of the material because if we go to our layered material, or the metallic layer, I'm sorry, then we can add in a little bump node in here in order to get some micro, micro scratches into our car paint. That makes it much more realistic in my opinion. So we will press Shift A and we will add in an image texture down here. So we can plug the out texture into the bump. And in my case, 
I have a little texture that is called dust fibers and this texture is perfect for this kind of car paint because it adds little dust flakes that also look like little scratches. In order to have more control over the image, image texture I will press shift A again and search for a box projection. Now we will plug the projection out into the projection of our image texture and by clicking on the little plus down here we can add a transform value node to our box projection. Now we can scale down the image texture we have by a bit in order to get these small dust fibers um, a little bit smaller. So if I zoom in in our material, the compression of YouTube may make it a little bit difficult to notice the little scratches in our material, but um, we will see the effect much better when we add color to our car paint. So the car paint is almost done. We will add some color in now. So the most important node where you can add color is the metallic layer node. In here we have the specular and the edge tint. And these two are really important when it comes to the color. So we want to add a specular color that is a little bit darker, maybe like this. Maybe even darker, that looks great. And then we add in a little bit lighter color. Not as bright, but a little bit brighter than the first one that is into in the specular. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have changed the color a bit of our material, but we still have this edge tint that is white. And we can change the edge tint of the material inside of our specular layer. And in here we can go to the specular up here and we can change that to whatever color we like. If we go into the blue area on our color picker, you can see that the edge tint is getting blue. And if you put it into this purple or pink and turn it down a little bit in order to make it less noticeable, then you can see that the edge tint is getting um, purple or pink, depending on um, what you are looking for. So, so far so good. Um, of course, you can adjust the values inside these nodes um, to your liking. So our car paint material looks great. And if you like this video and if I could help you out, then I would be really happy to see a like on my video or maybe you are even interested in subscribing to the channel. See you next time and have fun with this material.